welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea, and today I have my late, shocker, finale to the Pan of Green Gables Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies group collab. It was created by Anna. Her channel is My Makeup Insanity, and it was an eight-month project for the eight books in the series, and there were eight prompts. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping that I was gonna do a little bit better than I did, but you know what? I'm not upset about the progress that I've made. So I believe the last time I updated this may have been June. So, you know, four months ago or something. So <laughs> if you forgot that I was doing this project, I don't really blame you. I had seven prompts left. I had finished one. And of those seven prompts, I was able to finish or hit my goal on two more. So let's just go down the list. First is Hair as Red as Carrots, and that is a product that is red. I have this Revlon HD Gladiolus lipstick. I honestly can't even remember what my goal was for this. This is what it looks like. This is not the lipstick that I'm wearing today, by the way, just so you know. I think I had 30 uses as my goal. I used just a total of 16 times, so a little over halfway. I have been trying to pan this lipstick for literally like three years and I feel like it's just it's not moving no matter what I do so it's it's gonna go back in my collection until I pull it out for the next project. Next is Lake of Shining Waters and that is a shiny product and I had this Julep nail polish in the shade Lani. I wanted to finish it or use it 15 times. I didn't either, obviously. <laughs> I used it a total of eight and I got about halfway, a little less than halfway done with it. I just have not been painting my nails this summer as much as I was hoping that I would. I've just been super busy, you know, a lot of times. My like nail polish nail time is after the kids go to bed and I've been really busy with work this summer and fall and usually my time to work is after the kids go to bed so you know I kind of have to prioritize work over painting my nails most of the time so that's that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it next for broken slate it was something that was broken and I brought in this revolution pro luster highlighter in white rose I did repress it a while ago I don't it's been a while because it was broken and I love this highlighter but repressing it has made it really hard to pick up with a brush but this is what it looks like obviously not Oops. it's got a little bit of lipstick blended in there now but when you blend it out it looks really nice I mean it's like a cool pink tone which I really enjoy it's just it's kind of difficult now that I repressed it and I don't know I'm not gonna obviously I'm not gonna give this away because uh, I'm not gonna give something like this away but I'm not gonna like declutter it into the trash either I just I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with it I feel like what I really need to do is kind of re like dry press it again but I hate repressing things and I don't want to do it right now so I'm just gonna put that back in my collection but I wanted to use that 30 times and I used it 21 so you know there's there's a little bit more that I could have done but it's 21 more uses than it would have gotten otherwise then for Gilbert Blythe that is a product that starts with G and I brought in another nail polish from Julep in the shade Ginny. I wanted to use this 15 times or finish. I used it six. I don't think I used this once since my last update because you can see my mark from the last time and I don't have a new one to make. Again, same excuse as with the other nail polish so we don't need to go over it. Then for puffed sleeves, something that is big, bulky, has a lot of product. I brought in my Garnier Whole Blends Honey Treasures Shampoo. This is a 28 fluid ounce bottle and it looks gross because it, it's been in my shower, but I finished it. It is gone. I was honestly kind of worried that 
when I brought it in, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish it in time because this is so gigantic. But let's see. I brought it in up here. So it was almost full and I got 87 uses out of this. So that's not bad. I actually really like this shampoo a lot, but it does have sulfates in it. And I want to try like now that my hair is cut and it's thinned out a lot, I want to, I need to do more research cause I've never really looked into it, but the curly girl method. And I know cause like my hair is not curly curly, but it's definitely got some waves. I know sulfates aren't good for the curly girl method, so I'm going to look into other things, but I just really like the shampoo, and I was really excited when Garnier was cruelty-free, or announced that they were cruelty-free, because I like the shampoo. So that one is actually finished. Then, for Green Gables, something green, I had a liquid shadow from J Cat Beauty in the shade Wink Tank, which I... There was not a ton in it. I decanted it into this eyeshadow compact. My goal was to finish it, which obviously I didn't do, but I did use this 22 times. And when I put it into the compact, it was covering the whole compact. So I got quite a good, there's what it looks like. I, again, I don't, I usually try to use the things that are in projects on the day that I film, but it's just like, I was kind of over it. So I did not put any of this stuff on my face today, but especially I'm, I'm going to keep this in my project panning like area because maybe it'll go into another project at some point, but every time I do a green look, I've been topping it with this and it looks, it just adds some extra oomph and it's a good way. I really do want to get this out. So didn't finish it, but I did use it 22 times. And then finally for Marilla Cuthbert, that is something with a hard exterior and a soft interior. So something like liquid or cream in a hard packaging. I have my Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Peach Face. I think I had, my goal for this was 30 uses, a minimum of 30, but I wanted to hit pan if I could. I definitely used it 30 times because as of my last update, I had used it 41. I used it 19 more times for a total of 60 and I hit pan in it. I was so happy. Actually, I hit pan after use 59, but I used it one more time to like, like make the pan a little bit bigger that you could actually see it. This blush is so, oops, I just like kind of covered the pan a little bit, but you saw it, you knew it was there. This blush is so pretty and I know like some of her other ones, what is it like summertime wine, maybe they're a little darker. I feel I don't have those, but I'm just from what I've heard other people say, those a little goes a long way because of the color of this one. I didn't have to be like super, super careful about not putting too much on, but it's beautiful and I would love to work on finishing this up at some point, not right now, cause I did just use it, you know, for eight months, but it's gorgeous and I'm so happy that I hit pan in it. So that is it for my Pan of Green Gables finale. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, staying safe and sane and healthy and I will talk to you in the next one. Oh, and by the way, you're probably gonna see this in a bunch of videos because I'm so far behind on filming videos that I'm gonna try to do as many as possible today. So we'll see.